Speak to me, Lord. Many of you are asking that very question in one particular area of life or in multiple areas of your life. It is a serious request and declares you mean business. A number of years ago, an elderly couple said to me that the health and age transition they were walking through was particularly challenging. My response to them was that life was one big transition. And once you learn to trust the Lord's counsel through the Holy Spirit, the transitions will become clear as the next step we take in our walk of faith and trust. We must trust in the Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Those steps are seldom easy. Welcome to the Renaissance Gathering coming to you from Southern California. I have often said jokingly that the Lord can only trust me as far as giving me one and two word commands when he speaks to my heart and mind. Some people he seems to trust with paragraphs and even entire chapters. Me, I get instructions like go, sit, stand, stay, or speak. I guess the Lord feels that I can be trusted with those commands, but they do involve much of life and ministry. Lynn was facing the day feeling physically weak. As she prayed, she sensed the Lord speaking to her, go about your business. It was a real word from the Lord to Lynn then and often keeps returning to give us counsel. Perhaps that is the encouraging word some of you need, even now. In the Old Testament, the second Chronicles chapter 20, God's people were surrounded by their enemies on all sides. The king called young and old together to cry out to God as one because the gathering armies were intending the total destruction of God's people in Israel and Judah. It is the same pattern we see today taking place in Israel even now. The enemies of Israel have even gathered in our country. It was a simple command to fast and pray as we read 2 Chronicles 20 verses 6 through 12. First, they acknowledged God's greatness, which we should all do. Then they declared, our eyes are upon you, O Lord. What a declaration. What a simple, profound thing to do, to have all the people look to the Lord. All the people, the men, the women, and the children, look to the Lord. Verse 14, the Spirit of the Lord came upon the young prophet of God, and he spoke to the king and the rest of the people these simple yet profound commands. Thus says the Lord to you, do not be afraid, nor be dismayed because of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God's. Tomorrow, march down against them. You will see them climbing by the pass of Ziz. You will find them at the end of the gorge in the desert of Jeruel. They did not have spy cameras or planes or satellites. They had the Lord and just had to believe the prophet of the Lord and keep taking the next simple steps in faith. Verse 17, 
the prophet spoke, you will not need to fight in this battle. What an astounding word of encouragement. Here are the next simple commands. Point number one, take up your positions. Point number two, stand firm. Point number three, see the salvation or the deliverance the Lord will give you. These next commands really apply to each one of us today, just like the previous simple commands. It's amazing the victories God will give us when we obey one moment, one command, one simple step, at a time. Number one, do not be afraid. Point number two, do not be discouraged. Point number three, go out to face them tomorrow and the Lord will be with you. What an incredible assurance that came when they simply took each command and each step of simple obedience. It is the same with us today. Just obey the simple commands the Lord speaks to you by the Holy Spirit, through his word, through his servants, and godly family and friends. The next command was the all-important command of worshiping the Lord in hard times and times of battle. When the army of Judah had worshipers go in the lead, they marched to the battle and found that the enemies of God's people had turned on one another and destroyed themselves. God's people collected the plunder for days. The commands God speaks to you might seem simple when done one at a time, but they will result in huge victories in your life. I biblically guarantee it. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.